Gladys got Michael naming her phone as Sonny's kid. <laughs> but I said, she low down. And I hope she get caught soon. Because then they just do the storyline with Sasha and everything. Now they doing it again. But this time she's being set up. I said, Cody probably going to be the one to figure everything out, y'all. But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review of Life with Chester. This for General Hospital, July 13, 2023. Chase had told Maxie to keep an eye on Sasha, and she was like, duh, I was going to do that anyway. And I said, she not the one y'all need to be keeping an eye on. Gladys is. And I said, I feel like they should know that something's strange. Look how good she was doing. Not to say that because she was doing good, she couldn't have had, she couldn't have backslid or anything. But come on now. Um, this stuff didn't start popping up until, Glad until Sasha was saying, how, you know, she was going to end the guardianship and stuff. But I said, Cody probably the ones who figure everything out. But did y'all see who was there that stopped, uh, put their hand on Sam's shoulder? Was it Cody? It probably was Cody. Because it looked like somebody with like a blue, a blue sleeve or something. Like, I don't know. But how would that be him if he in the picture? <laughs> he, in the, he was the one she took a picture of her and woo. But she used to talk to us. Like, you scared me and all that. So who could it be? Could it be Spinelli or who else? I'm trying to think of who it could possibly be, but I don't know. But yeah, um, Sasha basically got arrested for stealing them clothes. She didn't pay for it. First, she was like, okay, she was telling Willow she had paid for it. Then she was like, they got some type of deal, you know, with deception and everything. Then it became, she don't remember any of it. And so Chase played back the video and they seen her. And they're going to call Gladys. Michael called Gladys and everything. I said, she the wrong, wrong one to be calling. And then it's the fact that she ain't guilty. I mean, she don't got no guilty conscience or anything. She don't regret it. nothing she do. Okay, what happens next? You know, she don't stole now. What happens if she gets in a dangerous situation? And they should pay for that because ain't they considered? I don't know what is considered, but ain't they? Um, ain't gonna say poisoning or what? But uh, whatever in their medication is what's causing her to act this way and be all this energized and everything else. That's all they gotta do is get that pill bottle and look it up before somebody else get those pill bottles and say she hallucinated. They never prescribed anything to her. I said somebody better. I said if they could run the tape back. And see her stealing. Maybe they can run the tape back and see her pull out the pill bottles as well. Okay, I can see them saying that. Because it got to be something in regards to that um, medication that the doc gave. And I said, he probably be like, I didn't get that to her. Or uh, I don't know where she got it from or something like that. But why uh, Sasha had one phone call, she called Cody, y'all. But he didn't answer because he was getting roughed up. And I said, look here, Cody going to learn. He must realize that when they find out that he ain't who he say he is, there will be no money. And then you still going to owe woo, and they still going to try to take your life. I said, what then? But yeah, he's talking about he going to come into some money from a uh, family heirloom, heirloom, a high recent work. Heirloom. <laughs> And I said, dude, they gonna come after you. I said, somebody gonna have to get woo, cause she, she probably the one put a hit out on Sunny. If it was for Sunny, I said, look, I don't know about this woo lady. I said, I know she got something to do with all this stuff, the stuff with Mason. Probably we don't know yet. We don't know. But Sam was trying to investigate. She was questioning Gladys about what's her involvement with Cody. What's this involvement with woo? What's their involvement with woo? And I said, I know she know this lady wasn't gonna tell her nothing. Curtis, look. When they showed that lady with Curtis, I was like, that's going to be his mama. That's going to be his mama. And sure enough, it was his mama. And I said, I know what this means. Because they was operating on him at the same time. I said, don't go to the light. <laughs> I said, don't go to the light. I said, it's a trail. It's a trail. <laughs> Once they showed her. And then she was like, uh, Tommy is working on the car. I said, oh, they trying to get him. They trying to take him. I was wondering. I was getting curious. I was like, I don't know if Curtis is supposed to leave or not. But then at the end of the episode, when TJ came up to Gil, you know, they was asking how the surgery went. He the way he was looking at it, he was with the other doctor. I was like, okay, is he gonna say it went well or what? Like, is there a complication? Were there complications? I said, what they gonna do? But yeah, uh, I was like, don't go to the light. Once they show his moment, then it was talking about Tommy working on the car. I said, she trying to get you to go to the light. Sonny and Nina was at you know the hospital and everything. And Marsha wanted to know who would do this to Curtis, and Sonny was like, basically he gonna find out who did it and everything. Look, Marsha, look, look, they don't had a conversation before, and Marsha and Sonny. But Alexis ain't no calling Sonny to come because he want, she wanted to talk about Christina. Because Christina over here, she going to get herself into a situation that, you know, she going to regret in regards to being Molly and TJ's surrogate. That's going to cause problems between her and Molly. That's what I believe. I don't know if they're going to uh, go with that storyline or what. But Christina still talk about being a surrogate and everything. Now Alexis going to get her to talk to Sonny so he could talk to her. I said, it's going to happen. I can see it now. It's going to happen. Like, uh, and then Christina asked Maxie about being a surrogate. I said, I said, when, when was she a surrogate? You talking about when she was uh, a surrogate for Lulu now? I said, I want to <laughs> Alexis is trying to tell Christina. Christina don't care what come out of her mouth. I said, like, I feel like she's like Jocelyn in a sense. She don't care what she say either. But yeah, she still, and Alexis was trying to tell her not to approach Molly with that or nothing like that. Wait till they, they come to her. I said, they already know about it. 
And I said I could see TJ either TJ or Molly bringing it up later about her being a surrogate if they really, if they figure you know that all their options are gone. But how would y'all feel about that? How would y'all feel about Christina being Molly and TJ surrogate? Do y'all think that's gonna create a whole bunch of mess or what? <laughs> But that's it, y'all. Stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to wait. Don't forget to let me know what y'all thought of the episode down below. Stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, deuces.